Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before you. Our songs of joy we sing, our songs of joy we sing, our songs, our songs of joy we sing. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, May the 14th. It's the fourth week in Easter and week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 49 to 72. And Matthew chapter five, verse 17 to 20. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, remember your word to your servant, which gives me hope. Hallelujah, Psalm 119. Hallelujah, remember your word to your servant, which gives me hope. This is my comfort in my affliction. Your word has given me life. The proud deride me greatly, Yet I do not turn from your law. I remember your judgments of old, and I have comforted myself. Horror has taken hold of me, because the wicked forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, and keep your law, my God. This is how it is with me, because I keep your precepts. Only you are my portion, O God. I promise that I would keep your words. I entreat your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I have considered my ways and turned to your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commands. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I rise and give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a friend of all that keep your precepts. The earth, O oh God, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. You have dealt justly with me, O oh God, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted and I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and you do good. Teach me your statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their the hearts are gross and fat like grease, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than much fine silver and gold. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember your word to your servant, which gives me hope. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, beginning at verse 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until it is all accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. 
O merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. And for Alan, whose birthday is today, and for all who share a birthday today, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Instruct us in your statutes, O God, and let us keep your commandments with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. 